Welcome to your News Now Sports. I'm Tony Quach. A countdown kickoff takes us to Mercer County, the home of two MAC powerhouses. One is looking to repeat as state champion, while the other hopes to return to Canton to settle some unfinished business. Our countdown kickoff, two a days, features the Coldwater Cavs and the Marion Local Flyers. Countdown to kickoff is brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. The Wins Flyers are coming off a perfect 16-0 season, another outright MAC championship and the OHSAA record-breaking 12th state title. After winning the Division 7 crown last fall, the Flyers bump up to Division 6 this year. They will start the season the same way their 2021 state run began, with non-conference bouts against defending WBL co-champs Wapakoneta and BVC champion Macomb. Conference play will be highlighted by trips to defending D5 state champion Versailles in Week 6, and last year's Division 6 state runner-up Coldwater to end the season. The Flyers graduate 15 seniors but return 7 starters on each side of the ball. The defense will miss first team All-State defensive back Peyton Audi, who is also the team's starting quarterback, as well as honorable mention linebacker Kevin Partington. But first team All-State linebacker Darren Meyer returns, along with honorable mention punter Aiden Eifert. And defensive back Tate Hess, who will take over QB this season. You know, it's a new year. Um, you, know, you start from scratch, uh, working on the fundamentals. You know, every team has its own identity, and you know we got to figure that out. And so that's what preseason is the start of. Well, this year we're bringing back a few starters from last year, so just hopefully can repeat what we did last year, even though we're playing in a tougher division. It's going to feel a little nerve-wracking. You know, you have a lot of expectations, especially from last season. You got to play good. Or I think we're all excited. We're all ready to get back out there. It's kind of like makes all these like two days and. Hard practices really pay off and you get to go out on the field and actually play somebody else and hit somebody else, so it's, it's a fun feeling. You know, every week is a grind, but it's also fun. It's also exciting. We compete against great kids. Um, it's just a blessing to, to coach here. At Coldwater, the Cavs kick off their season on the row with a traditional opening game against Kenton. The entire season will ramp up towards the final two weeks when Coldwater plays back-to-back -back games against the Max pair of 2021 state champions. They go to Versailles in Week 9 and host Marion Local in Week 10. The Cavaliers' quest for a MAC record 20th league title will see them missing 14 seniors from a year ago, including first-team All-State receiver Tyler Schwederman, third-team punter Jesse Meyer, and honorable mention linebacker Isaac Follenkamp. There's also a new QB this season, with Marcel Bassingame trying to fill the shoes of the Max lean passer, Reese Dellinger. 13th year, head coach Chip Ottens says the key is to stay healthy if they want to make a run at state title number eight. Probably not maybe as deep as we've been the last couple years, so that will be a huge, huge factor, especially with our big boys. We don't have a, have a ton of big guys, um, so, so if we can keep them healthy, we feel like we, we, we have a shot. Since I'm thrown to the receivers this year, the skill guys that, that we have a bunch of skill guys that are quick, juke, like they have a lot of juke moves, fast. This year we don't have a lot of height, but we have a lot of quickness, so I think we can use that to our advantage as well. It's going to be great just going out there, hitting somebody else that's got a different color shirt on this time, and just going out there, let it all loose, and have fun with your buddies. We say you're always being evaluated, and that's why this is, you know, our camp that we had at the end of July, and then, then these uh, eight practices we've had this week. And then we'll have another, you know, six, seven next week. Um, that's what you do. You assess. And you, you think you, you know, as coaches, we think we know which guys can do it, but we'll find out.